Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Prep News, episode number 175, and I apologize, we are back to the audio only for this week's episode. I wasn't wanting it to be audio only, but unfortunately, I'm sick. So if I'm sniffling, coughing, coughing some more, sneezing some more, in this video, I apologize, I'm gonna cut it out the best I can, so if it's kind of choppy at parts and it sounds all weird, it's because I'm cutting it up because I'm coughing and sneezing and sniffling throughout the video, so I do apologize about that. I was all upset though, I'm like, man, of course. I get sick when we're going to have one of the most hyped episodes of No Prep News, or we're supposed to have one of the most hyped episodes of No Prep News, because next week, we're going to get to talk about racing, actual racing, because February 24th and 25th, next weekend, is the start of the Australia races. Most of the guys flew out at the end of this past week out to Australia. I've been seeing a lot of them posting pictures and stuff, saying they're out there, or they're flying out there on the planes and stuff, so cool to see all of them getting out there. Glad they're all making it out there safely, and I cannot wait for the start of this race. Because it's going to be Australia versus Street Outlaws. Street Outlaws being just the U.S. It's not just the 405, not NOLA. It's Street Outlaws, the baddest guys we can see from No Prep Kings representing the United States of America going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Australia. And from what you guys have been saying, I mean, I apologize. I don't know too much about some of the Australia cars, if any, for that matter. But I do know. They've been talking some trash. There's a bunch of the Australia guys that have been on the internet talking trash to the 405 guys. So I'm happy to see that. Kind of see some back and forth going on beforehand. Building some stuff up before the race. So it's going to be a good race. I can't wait to see it. And I'm really interested in the results. After this first race this next weekend, I'm so interested to see how things are going to be looking. Are the, the, I almost said 405. My bad. Are the Street Outlaw guys just going to be smoking them? Are the Australia guys just going to be smoking the Street Outlaw guys because the Australia guys are in their home country racing this thing? I'm really, really, really excited to see this race. It's unlike anything we've ever seen before in all of Street Outlaws. They're going international for a race. It's going to be so cool to see. They have one, two, three, four weeks in a row where they're doing nothing but racing every single weekend. It's going to be awesome to see. Tons of fun to watch, and I can't wait to follow along with it. I cannot wait. I'm messing this up. I apologize. I'm sick. My brain's all clogged. I apologize. I'm so excited to follow along with all of this with you all for these next couple of weeks, and I can't wait to talk about it with you all as these races go down. But transitioning on now into the normal Street Outlaws schedule, we have gotten another race announced, and this is a huge announcement for this race. For those that don't know, Last week's race that was announced was June 30th and July 1st at New England Dragway in Epping, New Hampshire. Now, this next race isn't until August 11th and 12th at Tulsa Raceway Park in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Once again, they're taking July off. And we were wondering if this would be the case because we're seeing this Street Outlaws season start in June rather than April, much later than they did it in the past. So I assumed they may still take a month off, but it'll probably be pushed back to maybe August or September rather than July because of just when the season's beginning, although July is being taken off once again. And according to Doc, that break in July is to film a 405 season. From what we know, they're planning to do the small tire stuff for the 405 show once again, and they'll be filming that during this break for No Prep Kings. Now, I think that's smart. I think that's good because they're not going to be racing no big tire stuff and all that where we were questioning last year, oh, the wear and tear on the cars, guys going back and forth and stuff, and we're not going to be seeing that whatsoever. Still, I think the mental and physical fatigue on the drivers themselves could potentially be an effect. I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. For the first couple of races back, like instances like Kai Kelly or guys like that we we're talking about didn't do as good as we expected them to do. But still, nonetheless, I mean, that you can never really know for sure for that. We're just making assumptions in regards to all of that stuff. But the fact that it is something that is 100% going to be small tire stuff, guaranteed no overlap with cars whatsoever, I think is really smart for them to do. But once again, I'm wondering if we're going to see other shows as well filmed like will there be another season of fastest in america as we just talked in street race talk on friday i mean who knows what the future holds for all of that stuff so i'm wondering if we're gonna see some other show like that filmed because apparently 
Mega cash days in America's list are going to alternate each year for what we see when. Again, just kind of showing that they're going all the no prep kink stuff. They're taking two huge street shows and making it to where we see one every other year now. So I wonder if there's going to be another show besides that. Because obviously we have either then mega cash is America's list. We have always the 405 show. You has always have always no prep kings. There, there is going to be another show there. There's still some other show to put during that marquee time slot on Monday nights throughout the year. So I would assume there'll be something like fastest in america will they come up with some new show i mean i don't know we'll have to wait and see for that i do i didn't even think about that could they come up with a new show and what would it even be because it's not going to be involving the four or five guys because they're gonna be filming the four or five show so it'd have to be with jj kai and all those other guys you guys think maybe we'd see another season of nola could we maybe see something like that this is literally straight from the dome first thoughts that came to mind when i thought we'd see some new different show because with nola they all have small tire cars we know there's a lot of small tire racing down there at the pad and stuff so i wonder if we could see something like that happening a lot of fans have been asking for it for years but the big question is like do they have someone like for the four or five for years we had chief as the big main guy in no prep kings you could say right now we have ryan as the big main guy with the four or five show right now we have sean as the big main guy could someone like Kai, Scott Taylor, Lizzie, Bobby, one of those guys from NOLA fill those shoes for that show? Obviously, they had it be Kai in the first place, but it, with all the kind of animosity between NOLA, they were never really a true team, and you could see that with all the drivers and stuff. So I wonder if we would see something like that. Would they go back to try something like that again? I don't know. I, we're going way off on a tangent here. I literally thought of that just off the top of my head right there, but I wonder if we'll see something else like that filmed during that July break. But then, as we said, August 11th and 12th, Tulsa Raceway Park, Tulsa, Oklahoma, they will be back for the No Prep King season. And I'm assuming we're going to see it to where they just run it through no breaks in between these weeks. Because the first one, two, three, four, five races all in a row, no breaks whatsoever in between the weeks. The Australia race. All four races in a row, no breaks in between the weeks. Something we saw periodically throughout last season of No Prep Kings is we'd have two races in a row, then you know a week off, then three races in a row, then two weeks off, or like random stuff like that, especially towards the end of the season. I remember once we got around like September, October, there was a lot of instances where it'd be like two weeks in between the races, we'd have a race and three weeks off, then two races and two weeks off, like all kinds of stuff like that taking place. So I wonder if we'll see something like that for this second half of the season because the first half of the season running all the way through take july off and as of right now we're picking back up about the second week of august so i'm interested to see what they end up doing for that are there gonna be breaks during the second half of the season or are they just gonna run it through as we saw them do for the first half i'm really interested to see how all of this plays out but as of right now we know for a fact july will be off and apparently per doc right now the rumor is that it will be filming for a 405 show for the 405 guys. As for the rest of the guys, we do not know. We will have to wait and see in regards to that. And that is all for this week's episode of No Prep News. Again, I apologize if I sound weird. My nose is all stuffed up. It feels like, I don't know. what I'm, I don't know if I've ever had this before. I'm, I'm, I just feel like, you know when you go underwater or something? Or maybe go high altitude. And you feel like that pressure in your head. And you feel it in your ears. And normally if you like yawn or something. Or like people like to chew gum. Or you like blow out or something. You feel that pressure kind of get relieved. Like in my left side of my ear man. I got just that non-stop pressure up in there. So hopefully I'll be back and ready to go for the stream on Monday night. We will be streaming regardless. So make sure you guys tune into that on Monday night at 6 p.m. 50 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you guys click that little bell to notifications on so you do not miss a single video that I upload because all the videos I upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Your thoughts on the break in July. And what do you think they're going to do for the second half of this No Prep King season? Let me know your thoughts on all that in the comment section down below. And also your reaction to kind of the spitball and stuff we were talking about with the potential new shows being filmed during that July break as well. Your thoughts on all that in the comment section down below. If you guys like to send me stuff, address to my P.O. box is down below in the description. But like I said, that is all. Thank you all so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend. And are looking forward to a great week this weekend. I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching TTVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all that same as XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim. ABC XYZ signing out.